Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Dogs. If you have a dog's book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. We're going to be on page 55, chapter 8, and the title is A Free Class. It was 10 o'clock when Fred emerged from the police station. For most people, when they step out into the bright sunlight from a dark building, it takes them a moment for their eyes to adjust to light. For Fred, his eyes were always ready for the sunlight. That's why you never see Fred with sunglasses. Fred purchased the latest edition of the campus newspaper, The Kitten Caboodle. President cancels classes. Kansas, an hour ago, the president of Kittens University canceled classes for the rest of the day. A caboodle reporter went to the president's office to investigate. His secretary said that the president wasn't there. He had gone skiing. Advertisement. Jim offers free class. Brand new facility, all new equipment opens today. For today only, free gymnastics class. Wow, Fred thought. A free class in tumbling? I've never done that before. The address is 789 Main Street. Was easy to memorize. The three digit number 789 had digits 7, 8, 9 that were consecutive numbers. These are consecutive numbers. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. These are consecutive even numbers. 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92. These are consecutive odd numbers. 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33. Fred ran over to the new gym at 789 Main Street. He could hardly wait to take his free gym class. Fred rushed up to the front counter and said, I'm here for the free gymnastics class. The woman at the counter gave Fred an application form to fill out. Fred raced over to a corner of the room and filled it out. Fred printed his answers very neatly. He wanted to make a good impression. Time out. Personal identification number. PIN means personal identification number. If you have someone's ATM card and their PIN, you can get money out of their bank account. Because of that, you never should tell anyone your PIN. Fred was way too trusting. Fred handed the woman behind the counter his completed application form. She said, that will be one dollar, please. Fred was surprised. I thought the class was going to be free. She smiled and said, certainly the class is free. This is just a small fee to cover the computer processing of your application. Fred thought a dollar isn't that much, especially since they are giving me a free class. He handed the woman a dollar. She pointed to the men's locker room and said, You can go in there to change. Fred didn't know what to do. I don't have any gymnastics clothes. That's okay. Most people do not. The man in the locker room will take care of you. The man in the locker room looked at Fred and asked him where his father was. Fred didn't know since he had not seen his father in years. Fred shrugged his shoulders. Well, the locker room attendant said, Who's going to pay for your gym shirt rental? He pointed to a sign on the wall. But I already have a shirt, Fred protested. That won't do, he was told. Everyone in the class needs to wear a coal back gym shirt. The class goes better if all the students are dressed alike. It's only a dollar, Fred thought. Besides, they are giving me a free class. He handed the attendant a dollar and asked for an extra, extra small shirt. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one. What is the smallest four-digit number? Number two. What is the largest four-digit number? Number three, name two consecutive numbers 
so that the smaller is a one digit number and the larger is a two digit number. Number four, fill in the blank. When you count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, you are using consecutive blank numbers. Here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Join me here tomorrow for chapter nine. Bye for now. This is a row of practice.